I am Dr. Vijay Baskar, Chairman Ethics Committee Clinical Research and Trials, Hyderabad. Dengue, Dengue is the fever, nowadays we are aware of it, it is a seasonal disease where there is a low poverty countries, this sort of a, a mosquito, a Aedes mosquito causes the Dengue fever. The Dengue virus which is, uh, is the most virulent in our body where if it is not properly managed, the person leads to death with a bleeding disorder. So, Dengue initially, uh, you know, this is all over certain South African countries and South Asian countries. There are lot of countries are affected even like India. The most of the uh, seasonal disease among them is mosquito and then mosquito bite leads to malaria and then Dengue and other viral diseases. So, uh, dengue uh, fever is characterized by its own like fever, high grade fever from 100 to 104 and then ch sometimes chills will be there and then you will have a severe malaise, uh, body pains, myalgias, joint pains, they recover uh, with their uh, immune system. Most of the dengue people, if they are neglected, they are not properly treated. Uh, will lead to bleeding disorder in the body and die. So, what exactly happens in the dengue is there is a virus which is uh, enters into the blood uh, which damages the clotting factors. It will not allow to produce the clotting factor which are naturally produced in the blood. So, when there is a clotting time increases, bleeding time increases that means the bleeding takes place in our body because of the clotting factors are not uh, produced in the body because of the dengue virus. So, hence there will be repeated bleeding in the body leads to death. The usually where the in the body the when there is when you see the blood count that is uh, WBC count the platelet lets will be between 1,50,000 to 4,50,000. But sometimes when it is goes on decreasing that means with the fever, chills and rigors and then body pain, bleeding uh, teeth or bleeding abdomen or rectum, uh, signs or symptoms of severity of the disease. So, when the bleeding disorder takes place there where there is a space that there the bleeding increases then it leads to uh, lung uh, edema and the other vital parts of the body leads to multi organ failure and die. So, when there is a dengue we must study properly we should give sufficient fluids into the body. Uh, the dengue profile IgG, IgM uh, profile we must see and then uh, we should see the CRP levels, ESR levels and then uh, WBC count. Uh, along with uh, ble uh, the clotting factors and then uh, prothrombin time to rule out whether the severity of dengue is processing or not. So, uh, with this confirmation then following that with the daily uh, assessment of platelet count, we should see the severity of the disease and then we should treat with the uh, uh, IV fluids. Uh, more of a fluids we should give to the patient when he is not in IV fluids through the juices and all that and then uh, symptomatic treatment like when there is a fever treat with the paracetamol uh, and then if there is a possibility of cross infection or a secondary infection we can add on the antibiotic and then we should give the supplements, uh, minerals so that the body fluid levels will be maintained and then uh, 20,000 uh, platelets, then we must take care of the um, platelet uh, to improve, we should give the SDPs that uh, which elevate the uh, platelet count in our body to restore the clotting factors in the body. So, this is the way what we should do for the dengue and prevention is better than treatment. You must have your surrounding areas uh, clean and green with a uh, less ponds where there is a uh, mosquito breeds will develop where we should do a uh, municipality or the gram panchayat or the uh, uh, health inspectors or public health system people should take care of uh, mosquitoes and then fogging and then the personal individual should have a mosquito repellents and uh, nets and uh, uh, to protect themselves and then uh, the if, if somebody is going out we should wear the full hand clothes and uh, wrap the skin so that the mosquito bite should not take place. This is the way you should protect yourself.